Our next speaker also broke barriers, also decided not to be uh, defined by limitations. He was born into India's lowest caste, and what he chose as his life's journey has now made such a difference for so many others who are unheard, unseen, untouched. Please welcome Vimal Kumar. I'm 11 year old boy. Sitting back row in my class. But not interested in the class. And looking outside from the window towards my mother. And the sound of broom coming directly into my ears. Like, shh, shh. My mother's doing this. She's cleaning the toilets. Human excrements. Toilets without water. Her face is covered with a cloth. Close it totally wet because of sweat. Only eyes is visible. This is the only connection in the school connected with me, my mother and I. Finally, the sound of and bell arrives. And the voices of students came as a, as a thunder. And all are running towards gate. They are willing to go home. But I'm sitting behind. I'm not going. I'm not willing to go home. I'm waiting. Finally, I am out of the class and trying to hide my hole in pants with my school bag. But some boys identified my back hole in my pants and they started to make fun of me and try to insert the pencil in my hole. I am helpless, angry, very angry, but not on the boys. I am angry with my parents. I am angry on my parents. Because they didn't provide me proper clothes. And school, is a center of discrimination for me. Anyhow, I am at my slum again, where all scavengers live, with donkeys, pigs, rosters, all are living together, full of stink, dirtiest part of the city. It's everywhere, everywhere in the world. Go and find the dirtiest part of the city. You will find Vimal there. But OK, that's it. I have a good news. In my city, satellite channel launched. I'm so happy students are talking about cartoons, movies, every day, 24 hours. I'm also excited to watch my favorite cartoons. So I took the money from my uncle and reached to the office of cable operator. But he said, 
I don't want your dirty money. Even I don't want to enter in your dirty slum. Get out from my office. Again, I'm sad with my friends. What to do? I can't access cartoon. But in night, I took my friends and snatched all the wires from the city to get my home. If I can't access the cartoon, no one is going to access cartoon in this city. You have no right to watch cartoons. But after some time, two months later, cable operator arrives at my home. And I said, my business is going down. I'm losing my customers. I am ready to give you connections. And I got the connection. My whole community gave connection. And I started to watch my favorite cartoon called He-Man. <laughs> and, and I like one uh, special thing from He-Man when he said, I have the power. And I realize, if you are working for good things, if you are fighting for good things, you will get the power. You will get the power. You will get the power. After studying my master's in social work, PhD, I studied about myself why I am here, who I am. And I found, and I feel ashamed on me, because in my childhood, I was angry on my mother. I was angry on my mother. Now I'm feeling shame. They are the real he-man, actually. They are cleaning human excrements to feed their children, to spend money on their education, and creating leaders, creating acumen fellows here. They are the real he-man of the society. My mother is the real he-man for me. Now, I'm full of love with every person. Those are standing proudly with the broom. Here in Navesa, Kenya, they are taking care of us, cleaning our toilets. So, I decided to work for my own community and I launched a movement called Movement for Scavengers Community to write our own stories. <coughs> According to the WHO report, India have a goal on sanitation, Millennium Goal 2015. We are 45 years late to achieve this goal. Every day, one sweeper dies during the work. Every day. Today, also, someone dies in India. It's recorded data. I'm not talking about unrecorded things. 36 years of discrimination, stories are running together in my blood now. This is what I received from the society. But don't worry. I am not going 
I'm not going to do the same because I decided, I have decided to stick with love. I believe in Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, who said, educate, organize, agitate. So my agitation is love. My resistance is love. This is my answer to you. Thank you.